6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jessica Taylor. After years of searching for answers for their children, three families in the Treasure Valley eventually received a diagnosis, a rare genetic syndrome called SATB2 associated syndrome. The diagnosis brought their families together and today they raise awareness for others in their same shoes. Three kids, Evan, Dane and Amelia. They have a lot in common, their love of sports, their families, and a rare diagnosis. Awesome. The SATB2 uh, Gene Foundation is really important to our family. It's the diagnosis that Amelia has, and there's only about 450 individuals diagnosed currently. Out of 450 worldwide, three live here in the Treasure Valley. SATB2 associated syndrome is a genetic syndrome with many effects, common ones being a cleft lip and palate and cognitive impacts. People with the syndrome also benefit from having tablets like this to help communicate. Camping. Do you like camping with us? Yeah. It's not not understanding or not social or not wanting to communicate, but having a really hard time using words. Dr. Fleming says there's more people living with SATB2, but the testing is extremely specialized and not everyone can receive it. Originally thought it was a very rare disorder and now as it's grown and there's better publicity and we're finding that there's people all over the country and around the world. That test carries a hefty price tag. And this particular test um, costs about $10,000. And so many insurance companies won't cover it. And so some families have to pay that out of pocket. But the diagnosis can make all the difference. To get that diagnosis and to know that there's other families going to the same thing, it's, it's so helpful, it's comforting. It also brings a mix of emotions. Grieving because, you know, there are things and limitations that he's going to have, but also a relief that we knew what we were tackling. These families hope to raise awareness, which can lead to more people getting the resources they need and changes inside the classroom. Not just put them in a room and say, okay, we're gonna just teach them special needs kids all together in a group, but they actually mainstream them because these kids, it, it, it's really important for them to be integrated with other kids. And people their age can learn to communicate and make friends with kids like Amelia and Evan and Dane.